I'm going to tell you a story today, one that has really helped me personally. This is during the World War when there were the Nazi concentration camps and there was somebody called Viktor Frankl, who some of you might have heard about, who was one of the prisoners in the concentration camps. And I'm not going to even try and describe to you the kind of toughness misery, torture, and abuse that these people had to undergo in those camps. Now, Victor Franknell also happened to be somebody who was a psychologist, who was someone who was curious about how the brain functions, how the mind functions. So at his time in the camp, he actually got curious about the question that there were some people who were giving in, who were succumbing, who would die, who would get depressed, who would just give up, while others would just keep going on no matter what. And eventually, these some of these others made it out. And Victor Franklin was one of the persons who did as well. But when he started looking for patterns here, what he found is that the people who could keep going on were the ones who had created some kind of purpose for themselves, for their lives, for what they would do once they got out of the camp. And Victor Franklin himself created a purpose for himself, which was to understand more about resilience, about human mind well-being about man's search for meaning, which happens to be the name of the book that he came out and then wrote. And this was the purpose that carried him through his difficult days in the concentration camp. So do look up uh, the book, Man's Search for Meaning, if this is something that you want to understand more about, because um, in my opinion, I think this book has laid the foundation for a lot of uh, work in psychology, in coaching, in well-being that has then followed in the years to come. But um, even if you don't get the book, I think this, this little bite-sized piece of information that creating a purpose for ourselves can really help us get through difficult times, difficult times when our mind is being pulled in all directions, difficult times when our emotions are being pulled in all directions and not usually very good ones, uh, times when we feel like the very will to do things is being sucked out of us. Well, these are times when having a purpose to go on, having a purpose to do something can literally be your string, your lifeboat, your anchor that pulls you through. Uh, your purpose does not have to be a grand and lofty one like Victor Franklin's. It can be anything. In fact, when, you know, even in the concentration camp, the purposes that people had ranged from just being reunited with a loved one, seeing, you know, the faces of children, any children playing again, being in places that they wanted to be, whatever it is, something that something that holds your heart almost captive, but in a nice way and gives it that strength and will to keep going on through the now that can be testing, tiring, draining or difficult. So what's your purpose? What would you like to create? If you don't have one, if you have one, this is a great time to reconnect with your purpose. If you haven't thought about it so far, you can create one now. You can create more than one if you want, but create something to just give your own being that extra boost that can carry you through these times, that can make you more resilient. If you look at the uh, research on resili resilience, purpose is actually one of the fundamental pillars of it. And I do hope that each one of us can leverage this pillar as much as possible in the coming days.